Thank you all for coming. Um, uh, you're all here for the uh, Dan's Papers $6,000 Literary Prize Award Ceremony. It's a keynote speech, which is going to be done by uh, Walter Isaacson. And so I'd like to introduce him, it's Walter Isaacson. Today, with Dan's Papers and these awards, we're going to celebrate people who are great journalists and great writers. But what they do is they tell stories. Let me tell you a story. That's the way I began my talk tonight, which is let me tell you a story. That's sort of the best way to begin anything, except for the good Lord had it even better. He said, in the beginning, and that was the best lead sentence ever. But it was, at its heart, narrative storytelling. So that's what we celebrate tonight, and that's why I thank you all for having me here. Appreciate it. First of the runner-up awards um, is going to be presented now by James Marquard. And the winner of the first runner-up award is Matthew McJevna for his, for his peace and early rescue. Matthew, would you come up? The second runner-up award um, uh, is uh, going to be presented by um, Chris Knopf. The, uh, the second runner-up, and I remember this, it's a great essay, really, really enjoyed it, Shay Lower. Hi, I'm actually accepting this for my sister, Shay. <laughs> She's okay. in Oklahoma right now, so she couldn't be here. Um, which she's very sorry about. <laughs> the winning entry is uh, going to be presented by Len Riccio. The award is $5,000. And uh, without uh, further comment, I'll introduce Len, and he will come out and make the award. The first prize winner in nonfiction is Eve Elliott, The Life and Times of Miss Muffet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit trembly, thank you. I'm so pleased all of you were here because we're competing with the artists and writers playing ball and we're competing with Hillary. So I want to second the motion of what Walter Isaacson was saying when he was talking about community. And I was thinking when I saw the big line outside Bookhampton, how, gosh, no one's going to be here. So the, those of us that are here are preferring literature and community to politics and power. And how wonderful is that? <laughs> so. um, uh, Mercedes Rule will be coming out. She the Life and Times of Miss Muffet, A Love Letter to the Hamptons. Once upon a time, even with its intimidatingly wealthy inhabitants who own private jets and several cars, each of which cost what a house would in a normal region, our town has not lost its innocence. I still don't know what a tuffet is, but I know what a hummock is when I see it. There's still not a single day when driving past the pond and the historic buildings on its edge, I don't marvel that I live in a fairy tale vi village. No corporate retailing can ever destroy my love for the beauty of this place or diminish the sweetness that fills my heart when making that, sometimes in traffic, long-awaited left turn. Glad you could come. See you next year. <laughs>